Hello, this is Uchain Joku, Sneaker Principal, and welcome to this episode of the Sneaker Principal Podcast. I am sitting here in my office wrapping up the day, and I decided, you know what, I need to jump on and record some thoughts. The thoughts that have been swiveling through my head has to do with creativity. And I'm not talking about creativity in the sense of um, creativity and leadership, because most of you who listen to my podcast, you know, know me as the school principal, school leader. And most of my conversations with you has to do with leadership and how either becoming how to become a leader, how to be better at leading and how to manage these spaces that comes with being a school principal. However, what I want to talk to you about is creativity when it comes to our personal creative sides as human beings. Uh, one of the reasons that I love my job, I love my job, and I, I just use the J word, I love my work, is the fact that um, I'm allowed to be creative every single day. You know, in my thinking, in my actions, but also in, in creating. The thing about schools that I think a lot of people don't really think about is the fact that a school is a living, breathing entity. If, and it's, it's literally the sum of its total parts. And when you think about all the stakeholders as parts, the students, the parents, the, the teachers, support staff, the community, um, everyone that's part of the ecosystem that really establishes what a school is, you know, these are, you know, the some parts, right? And because it's, it, it, it creates a living, breathing entity that we call a school, I love the fact that I am able to have a heavy hand in shaping what this space looks like. And I don't do it just because, you know, I'm some kind of egomaniac and I want to control everything. But I do it because as, some, as a creative person, a person that that's also believes in the work that is required to move communities forward, to really help children and their families find their path into the future. I get to bring in who I am as once a child, then an adult, and then a teacher, and then a school leader in saying, this is how we can do things in this community to get our children from point A to point B. <clears throat> As a sneakerhead, as a as a um, as a creative writer, um, content creator, a talker, speaker, all these things that requires my ability to really engage in my thinking and how I, I allow it to shape my reality, I get to bring it into the school space. Um, and I do it not just for my own my own personal gain but because I see the value in doing these things for our students. I'll give an example, like podcasting. Right now I have three sections, three sections of classes in my school where students are, are being taught about podcasting and live streaming and, and, and engaging in creating content. And the reason that's the case is because it's something that I love, but not only that, it's something that I know for a fact that is part of the reality of who we are today on this planet. And if our children don't understand um, digital communications and content creations and social media, and they only live as consumers, they will never find that bridge to generational success and wealth because they will always be the ones consuming, meaning that they're spending to consume versus creating, put into the world, and then building their own wealth, whether it's material or social or whatever it may be. Um, so as someone who, who's a creative in this space and now saying, listen, I want my students to understand this space, it's something that's very, very powerful. I've met some of the coolest school leaders, you know, who are musicians and artists and they painted and they drew, and they have infused those things and those passions of theirs into their school. And one thing I, I really believe is that children will gravitate to what is cool. And if what you're doing is cool and you love it so much and they see you as someone who's so in love with what they're doing, they will find you to be cool as well. 
and and would want I want to be around you to learn. Like today, I just put um, four um, R50 Canon cameras, same camera I'm using right now to record this this um, video, and I just gave it to my um, art teacher who's also leading my yearbook club. And I said to her, you know, I don't I just don't want pictures in the yearbook to be coming from me, you know, or other staff members who pulled out their phones took pictures. And we're putting these images into the yearbook because then it becomes our yearbook. It becomes a, 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 a document documenting what we saw and not necessarily what the kids saw. So I said, here, here are four cameras, camera bags, batteries, lenses are in there. Unleash your kids. Have them spend a couple of days on YouTube, you know, kind of like understanding the camera. I'm here if they have any questions. I will sit down with them and show them, you know, certain techniques. But I want them to be so excited about the camera in your hands that they figure it out and start taking pictures. Even if they're bad pictures, it's okay. Because the one thing about pictures is this. There's no such thing as a bad picture. It might be a, you might have weird pictures or like, wait a minute, you know. But at the end of the day, when you capture something, you love what you captured. It's a powerful tool. And of course, we're dealing with middle school, so you want to set boundaries, you know. But however, you want them to have a heavy hand in the creation of their yearbook you know again that creativity and i'm hoping that creativity sparks them to say hey what if i switch this switch from photo to to um to video and we maybe we can do a documentary and create something in that from that space but again these are things that i love like I'm a, i love movies I've, i majored in film and media studies in college um and um and and I know how much these, the, the medium of film has impacted my life and the way I think and the way I see the world and the way I lead and the way I create. And being able to give our students that opportunity to experience that is very powerful. And some of them might say, listen, this is, I don't, I don't, I mean, it was cool, but I mean, you know, it's not for me. And that's perfectly cool. But as leaders, to only, to only have schools that only just teach core content and that's it, you are, you know, um, doing an injustice to your school community, because what I want to see is how do how do they, the kids express themselves mathematically through digital communications, through podcasting, through to photography, through v video or writing scripts. How do they express their skills in English language arts or in science and social studies in whatever they're taking? So it's not just then them. Again, living as consumers, sitting in their classroom and just taking in what, what's being thrown at them, what's being spit at them, and regurgitating. But rather saying, I want to take this information, make meaning of it, and then create something. Listen, I don't know about you or, and your students. My students are very creative, and they're looking for those outlets and those channels to express themselves. And I've taken the opportunity as a creative to start to build out a space that eventually, you know, every student who walks in through these doors are going to have a finger, a toe, or a whole arm, or a, a torso, or their whole body Im immersed in a creative endeavor. And I think that's something that's very, very powerful. And that's something that I, that I don't only want for my students, that I want for my teachers as well. The world is changing. There's so much happening. And we have to find ways to make sure that our children and even us as adults are engaging and embracing and learning and growing in this ever-changing world. And where else can, where, what else is the better place to do that if it's not school? And that's how I see, that's how I see this. So um, right now as I'm sitting right here, I'm looking into this camera and there's this is another tripod over here. There are three mics around this table. Very soon, I'm going to be sitting here with my students and and they'll be interviewing me, I'll be interviewing them and teachers and people from outside who will come in. I, listen, I tell my guests now, when you come into this building, just expect you're probably gonna get interviewed, you know, by at least me, so that I can collect content to share with my students and my community uh, about you and what you do and how you impact our community. But more than likely, it's gonna be students who will be sitting in front of you asking you questions and trying to understand the world through your experiences. And again, these are things that I, that I really believe that will set the tone for the next hundred years of our, 
of education and schooling um, on this planet, how we truly embrace technology and how we really allow ourselves to be creators and not just consumers. Um, yeah. So I hope that made sense to somebody out there. That was just almost in my brain right now. Um, but uh, I really appreciate those of you who watch my content. Please continue to follow, share, like, all this good stuff. And I hope to connect with you soon again. All right? Be well.